Hi my dear spirited minds, hope you all are doing great. Dear friends, imagine your father admitted you in school and you love to go to school very much and you love to learn new things, you love education. You have finished your first year of your schooling successfully and happily and you are continuing your second year of your schooling and you are enjoying it very much. Suddenly in the middle of the academic year, your father asks you, son, I can't afford your education. Please don't go to school. How you will feel at that time? And not only that, your father asks you, Son, as the financial condition of the family is so weak, I want you to help me out by working somewhere so that you can raise little money and it will be helpful for the family. And you are just 10 years at that time. On the one side, you love to go to school, you love education, education very much. On the other side, financial condition of the family is not supporting that. Friends, imagine yourself in that situation and what kind of a dream you can uh, dream about your future. Can you dream about being a highly educated person at that situation in future? Can you dream yourself as a successful person, uh, person in, your, in your life? At that situation, yes, my dear friends, you can dream being a successful person on becoming a successful person even at that situation too. And imagine if you turned out to be highly educated in spite of not having formal education. You, you became a very successful businessman without formal education. You have just less than two years of formal education. You have transformed yourself into a successful business person and successful and uh, person in your life. Don't you think it will be great, friends? Friends, not only with your dedication and with your passion to learn new things, your passion and your dedication, if transforms not only you and if it transforms the destiny of a nation, how glorious the life will be. Just imagine friends. Friends, we all dream to have a glorious life like that. Friends, this is what happened in the life of Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin began working at the age of 10 and from the age of 12, to 17 years, he worked as an apprentice in the printing press of his brother James. And while working in the printing press, he, because of his passion to learn new things, he happened to read. He self-taught himself and he happened to read whatever comes to in his hand. Thus he mastered in science, mathematics, philosophy and languages. He mastered in through self-education, the languages, French, Spanish, uh, Italian language, German languages. Not only that, he mastered all the classics, friends. He transformed himself a highly educated person by self-education. Self, he is a self-made man, self-taught man. At the age of 17, he had a clash with his brother. So he left him and went to, went to Philadelphia and worked as a printer and then gradually began the printing press, uh, his own printing press and he published his own newspaper, magazines and published books and became a successful publisher. By the age of 42, he earned huge wealth, good wealth. And from the age of 42 until his last breath of life, that is uh, 84 years, he dedicated his life to the service of the nation. Benjamin Franklin worked as a diplomat, a statesman and a philosopher. Friends, while working for uh, America as a diplomat to France and uh, England, he got support, he garnered support to American War of Independence. Because of his efforts, America got independence very soon. He played a crucial role in the formation of uh, 
American Constitution. He was the main founder uh, of uh, American Philosophical Society. In spite of having less than two years of formal education, he formed American uh, Philosophical Society, which is now American uh, Academy of Science. The members of, it will be amazing to know friends, the members of uh, this society, American Philosophical Society, which is uh, American Science Academy, National Academy of Science, have more than 100 members have won Nobel Prizes. See the transformation of uh, Benjamin Franklin, friends. And his contribution, He not only that, he is a scientist, inventor, and he started his, his contribution, uh, he, he started Gen2, public uh, uh, free service uh, societies like uh, today's uh, Rotary Club and Lions Club uh, um, kind of um, clubs to help the society. This He inspired many people through his efforts. As a statement, he contributed uh, his uh, services to America in such a way that still today America considered considered him and respects him as one of the great founding fathers. And the school which he started in Pennsylvania transformed into University of Pennsylvania. And his efforts has touched all walks of life in America, friends. All this has happened because of his self-discipline and passion to learn things. New things, friends, education. Friends, if we have passion in our life, if you have passion and dedication and discipline, we can transform our life like, like Benjamin Franklin too, friends. This is possible, friends. We all have glorious, we, we all have the glorious future for us, waiting for us, friends. I request you all to chalk out what are your uh, future goals and work on that. How this when you, when you look into the life of Benjamin Franklin, the same reflects how an ordinary boy who had less than two years of formal education transformed in, in himself into a greatest statesman of USA. This is possible through his dedication, friends, passion to learn. Friends, at the age of seventeen, by the age of seventeen. Benjamin Franklin has decided and selected some of the virtues which helped him. He selected 13 virtues, 13 principles which helped him to transform his life. Like um, what you call uh, moderation, self-discipline, uh, all, all he uh, listed out all the 13 principles and he followed that. And I want you to follow uh, the footsteps of Benjamin Franklin. I'm not saying that Whatever he followed, I'm, I'm asking. I'm not asking you to follow. You know your life very, very much. I want you to list out what sub, what are the principles which supports you, because you know yourself very much. List out the principles which helps you to strength, which strengthens you, which empowers you, and stick to them, friends. You you will be having definitely. You will be having passion towards your uh, uh, you, your dream. You may be dreaming of a musician, you, ha you may be having, you want, uh, dreaming about a businessman, you want to become an engineer, doctor, whatever may be your goal, your passion, find out your passion and stick to that. Be disciplined in pursuing your passions, friends. Definitely, you will be achieving success very soon, friends. Friends, I do recommend you all to read the life of uh, Benjamin Franklin, autobiography of, autobiography of Benjamin Franklin. Definitely, it will transform your life, friends. This is this book of uh, Benjamin Franklin is such uh, filled with such uh, information, vis uh, uh, wisdom that it touches you very, very much, friends. I'm sure that if you read Benjamin Franklin's life, definitely it will touch you. So please try to read Benjamin Franklin's uh, biography and focus on your uh, focus on chasing your dreams friends and wishing you great success in all your life this is durga elgunta signing off thank you